Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the Incineration Gentleman. To let's play, what I said. Okay, this is part eight. I just like to make that verbally out loud clear for myself for continuity's sake. We're at the ass end of the fetid mire, deliberately to go to a new area that we can't actually teleport to. We have to go to on foot. You have to at least teleport to the fetid mire and run here, or to other places that connect to this and go there adjacently on foot. The Scarlet Sea. Hmm. And yes, that's blood being pumped into this. So, there's that. Immediately, we can see that there's a castle way over there in the distance. Another entrance there. Let's make this in a circle. There's very strange creatures here. Fetid mire. Very, very strange creatures here. It's mostly a quiet, somber, kind of depressing location. But very dangerous. I'm glad that we have long ranges to fight these things. Hemolith? I think they're called Hemoliths. Look at this freakish thing. Later, they become much more dangerous. Only if you need to do one specific thing to get, you know, a special ending, but all that, you know. Yes, I was about to say they have a chance to drop healing potions. Very helpful, that. Skeletons. Ah, oh, we did a little poison damage to ourselves there. Our, our screen flashed, but we didn't take any damage. That's cool. You know, right now is a great time for us to get experience for that hilt with all these wooden boards sticking out of the ground. Ah, uh, no, not spells. My bad. Broken hilt. Yes. You just gotta get right up on him, and you should be just fine. We're actually gonna fight one of the official mini-bosses of the game. He's right behind us. He just can't see us. I think they're called... Abyss Demons? Or Asylum Demons? Or something like that. They remind me of the... Uh, Titanite Demons? I think is what they called? From Dark Souls 1. Or Tartarin Demons? They look just like them, guys. It's crazy. Like, if I remember correctly, um, they had, like, a giant weird staff, their head were missing, and, like, a leg was missing. Um, it's kind of similar, the way that the skeletons, or not skeletons, but the asylum demon looks like in this game. At least I believe that's its name. I don't want to accidentally activate him. That's when that green thing, very far off in the distances, you can barely see him. Trying to whittle down on all the other enemies before I have a chance to actually want to fight him. So. Yep, there's a skeleton over there. Barely saw him. Oh wait, he's coming! No! This is not what I wanted! Fine, we'll just fight him now. He can be very deadly, but in an open area like this, he ain't so bad. Let's move a little faster so we can dodge him. He also does this shit. Check this out. Isn't that fucking awesome? This music should be a lot more like dun 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 You know? Like something fitting for this. But it's not. Also, real nerds will know what the fuck I was just referencing with that music. Ah! He tried to like blind us, I think, just there. Good. Uh, we need to go a little faster. There we go. Speed is key with these guys. Just kind of try to keep your distance. But as you can see, his arms and his head are missing. Or his legs, I'm sorry. 
and his tail, it seems. So, can you see the similarities to that enemy type now from Dark Souls? Tell me that's not like his weird cousin. Yeah! Go back to hell, bitch! Hell yeah. You too, asshole. We earned that ocean elixir, folks. Nice. Victory is mine, fuckwit. Now, in all that chaos, I know I ran by another skeleton. I don't know where, though. Hmm. Let's break some more of these boards. There's a ring or two. I think just one ring we need to grab really fast. And I'll show you how to utilize barrier in a moment to get to an extremely helpful item. Boundlessly helpful. You know what? We'll worry about upgrading that in a moment. Let's go ahead and go over there and I'll show you how to use this spell. Oh, and you're about to see one of the coolest creatures in the whole game that you cannot kill without an extremely specific weapon. He looks so cool, and all I did when I saw him the first time was stare in awe. Check out this thing. Hell yeah. Now, it's completely harmless. It can't hurt us at all. As you can see, it's slowly bleeding constantly. And, if I'm not mistaken, the current theory behind how mana potions exist is this creature secretes the liquids that is used in mana potions. Um... Jotarn? Jotan? Jotur? Very weird creature. You cannot kill him without anything. Like, with anything in the whole game except a very specific item. Um, he's not an enemy at all. But you have to kill him to accomplish unlocking something. We haven't seen these guys since the first area. What are y'all doing here? Also, when we go back to town, we will have a little bit more alchemy we need to do. I think he's so cool. It used to terrify me looking at this guy. I mean, really. He used to be like a monstrous force looking at, like, just him straight on. He's so cool. Oh, he's so cool. I love that. You can just kind of, like, weave through his legs and just kind of chill with him. It's, it's really something, man. What an awesome little, like... Very Shadow of the Colossus, like, just... This gargantuan creature that is in its own realm, and we're as insects to them. And they're, they're peaceful, just living in their own world, and any damage that's done to, by them is just like... Just side effects of them moving. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a natural disaster, like Godzilla. Now, right up here on top of this pillar is a very important weapon. Not really important, but kind of cool. I don't like it too much. Um, let's put on Barrier. And I'll show you a little neat trick. Cast like so, and you can jump up on top of it, right? And you gotta be quick about this. Cast another right about here. Ah, that's okay. Been a little bit out of touch with this, but it can be done, folks. Right there, and then... No, no, no. Ah! <laughs> Look like a fool in front of everybody, Matthew. That's the spot. But you get the gist of what I'm saying here. Might have to speed this up a little bit. But you make one. And as you're rota rotating in a helix pattern, up it, you make another. I think we might be able to do it this time. Maybe. Very awkward, but this can be done, folks. More or less just kind of trying to make a safe thing to stand on for the time being. Yeah! Corrupted dagger! Yes! Woo! Good look at the giant monster as well. 
Nice. So, what's cool about the Corrupted Dagger is it can be either a melee weapon or a ranged weapon. Let me put on a better spell here over fast. Right here. An odd curved dagger soaked in blood and covered in a... with a rust-like growth. Uh, bound to whoever ha has touched it so it comes back to them. Uh, tap... Type can be switched by pushing block. Scales with dexterity and does dark damage. So, just to show you real fast. Oh, wrong weapon. It attacks very slow. Even with its fully charged attacks, it's a bit slow and the range is bad. But, you can just tap, and then you change your reticule, and you just... Laser accurate throwing knives forever. So, that's kind of neat. Down here, you can get the Dark Raper. Rapier. A decent weapon. I think the Dark Greatsword is a bit stronger. Nice. Just to make this a little faster, let's put on... Windash. There's an item in one of these corners that we need to get. I was kind of hoping one of the... Ooh, we fought them earlier. The strange three-legged creatures. These things. Himalith. Himalith. Anyway. I was hoping they would drop a rare drop they have. The pink shrimp. It's a... Decent, decent healing item. They're more likely to drop the healing vials. But, um... It's like a common mariner's food. That's what it refers to. Like, mariner food. Like, seaworthy, you know. Sea, uh... Voyaging folk food type that's been used for centuries. Do, do, do. Let's put on something more robust, shall we? Nice. There was a third one I saw, too. Where's that one? There he is. As you can see, they're drinking the blood here. Nice. Okay. Let's keep doing some more circling. Because I know in one of these corners off by themselves is supposed to be a very, very, very helpful spell. There's not too many items to get here in the Scarlet Sea, but it, it's more of an ambiance kind of area, to be blunt. I think it's really cool. The Accursed Tomb. Now, another entrance to the Accursed Tomb is through the basin of that castle over there, in the most bottom-dwelling areas you can get into it. Um, and, if I'm not mistaken... No, actually, that's the only entrance right there. And there's one in... Whew, I want to remember this correctly. Oh, man. There's two entrances to this area. Why can I not remember this? The Yose Forest. Yes, by Patchouli's Shop. There we go. That's where it is. That's the alternate entrance into the Accursed Tombs. I want the experience here. And I think there's a small chance that they can drop items from this. I can't reach it. But we just got Summoned Fairies. Which is very Zelda, actually. One of the best spells in the game, because the fairies will auto-target enemies. You can summon three fairies at a time. And the Kodama can be summoned alongside them, the Spirit Rabbits. So you can have six Kodama summoned, three Spirit Fairies summoned, it's pretty awesome. You can have a small army on your side almost at all times. Summon a fairy as a temporary fam familiar. And they produce light. Tell me that don't look like Navi, y'all. Straight out of Ocarina of Time. 
the whole gang's here. Let's get scooting. I believe we've gotten everything from this area now, if I am not mistaken. Let's check out this enemy real fast. Well, if we actually had a weapon spell on. Now, I'm thinking, should we go through that door to the accursed tomb, or go directly to the castle? Hmm. I say we go to the castle, y'all. Sorry about the lag, by the way. I don't know why we're having lag in this area, which is very frustrating. And surprisingly, a lot of lag. We're dropping down to like 15 frames a second, which is fucking stupid. But whatever. Sorry, we'll be out of here soon. We'll hit the castle first, because, uh... Well, I think it'll be, uh... Faster. And I didn't know this entire area was lagging out so genuinely awfully. See right there, 30 frames per second. I don't know. Fucking weird, dude. Don't get it. It's like maybe the fairies was too much for the game to be able to handle or something. Because now that they're gone, it's like, fine. That would suck, because those fairies are very helpful. We'll need them for bosses and shit. Goodbye, Eldritch God Demon. <laughs> We shall return, eventually, to the Scarlet Sea. We only have one more use in this entire, like, section. I hope I can pronounce this castle's name right. Now, what's really cool when you get to this castle and you actually go into the main gate, if you're a vampire, there, I think there's special dialogue said by the lord of this castle, the count. Castle Lu Funa? Funun? 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 I don't know. Phantoms. They can drop uh, moonlight elixirs and, um... I forget, a cursed weapon. I forget. It's one of the few weapons that gets stronger over time with the passage of the moon. Shoot this dimmed out area with either slime orb or blood strike. Uh, I don't know what other elements work, but this does. A door opens. And, really quickly, we'll need to be using blood strike or blood drain in a moment if you have either one of those spells. Let's harvest these plants. This is where you get moon petals. A very good supply of them, at least. And it's a great place to come to get experience for weapons. Especially if they have a decent range. But now we're done with the broken hilt, we'll be able to go to town and upgrade that, and I'd like to very soon. Mm, steel club. Well, yeah, why not? The power is behind us. So we're actually going to take off blood strike for now. Nice. Hello, good sir. This guy, we found his journal talking about some of his fallen comrades in the previous area. Garat the Hound. Salutations, little lambkin. I am Sir Garat the Hound. I'm on my way to kill the lord of this castle. But I've run into a bit of a uh, conundrum. I can't figure out how to open this magic gate. I feel so foolish. How does it work, I wonder? Greetings, incineration man. I feel so foolish. How does it work, I wonder? Okay. So, that's why you need blood strike, by the way. Because in this back basined room... Castle cells. Or cattle cells. You see this red spotted door. Right here is a receptacle. Put a little bit of blood in there and it'll open. And it gives you a good little hint to how this door would work. See the pattern there? You'll need something white to put into the socket instead of red. Holy water. Holy water is great for getting rid of all your afflictions at the time. Go gain a couple levels. Save the game. 
at town, of course. Unlock this crystal. And now we can teleport to this castle at any time we see fit. Um, strength. Thank you. Warp to Ring's Rest. And, um, upgrade that hilt. Make a weapon. We should talk to Clive more often, but, eh, I find him tedious. Did you just, like, crash? What just happened? Are we good? No, okay, awesome. I was like, what? By the way, our stats have never been so close to matching in the entire time I've ever played this game. If you noticed, our, um, health and... Oh, no, I thought they were 566 on mana and 565 on, uh, the health, but I was off. That's a bummer. But now, we have the flame sword. Basically a torch we can fight with now. Nice. Not bad at all. Hey, Dima. <laughs> Remember, never break Cheryl's stuff. Never, ever break Cheryl's stuff. By the way, this castle is where you can actually finally get the steel needle. I'll show you where you can find that when we're in the next episode. I feel like we're wrapping up around this time where I want to be. <sighs> yeah, this one's about 25 minutes or something if I do the math really fast. I'm looking at the Scarlet Sea map just really quickly. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we missed anything there. Yeah, so we could go to the Accursed Tombs now, uh, which we've never been to yet, but we, there's two ways to get to that, through the Scarlet Sea, and the, um, Yose Woods, Yose Forest. Or we can continue with the castle, but I'd like to continue with the castle. Do a little alchemy real fast. We got Obsidian now, so... With Obsidian, there's a few more things we can make. Let me look through some of my recipes. If only we had a Chromelink Opal. And Snowflake Obsidian. Which I know we currently do not have. If we had Snowflake Obsidian, we'd be sitting in the good good right now. But we do have bones. So what I'm going to show you, actually... Let's take two things of ashes, one thing of bones. Forge. Survey banners. These are cool. Survey banners can be super helpful. So, like, say you're lost, right? You're having a hard time making it where you need to be going, which often is what happens to us. Well, at least to me when I'm playing. I just want to make sure we didn't have any of those banners. Or not banners, but potions. A wooden banner used for by scouts to lead armies through the depths. Helps the user navigate by placing it in known places. So I don't know if these are forever permanent, but if they are, dude, I would love to decorate like Wings Rest with them. To the point, actually, let's... Put one there. Put one there. That's actually really, really cool. A goat, right? And... It looks like a man planting a sword? Into the ground? Just... Into the ground? I'm not sure what he's holding there. I wonder if these are permanent. Hmm. Before we leave... Let's see if there's any more alchemy we can do, because I know that since we have obsidian, there is a few things we can make. Yeah. Let's make a moonlight vial. So we need moon petals, of course. Which we just actually got some, which is great. And obsidian. And ashes. Nice. We're only going to make one because I'm sure that obsidian would be useful for something else. And let's make some fairy moss as well. We have moonlight petals, so why not? We'll take some bloodweed, which we got from the creatures in the Scarlet Sea. And then we'll take Yellow Meadow, or Meryl, and make Fairy Moss. Doo -doo -doo. Quick looking through. And I think we might just be able to make something else too. 
few more of these moonlight petals or moon petals and then a opal will put us with having holy water nope oh, not formulas sorry one more I want to try to see if we can make real fast we should be able to if I'm not mistaken at least take ocean bone shard Destroying Angel and Bloodweed makes Poison Urns. And, so far, that's all we can make right now. But we have nearly all the formulas. One, four, five. There's only five left we don't currently have. We just gotta find the right ingredients, folks. And we're getting closer and closer. Man, I really hope these survey banners stay permanent, because I would... I'm gonna put these everywhere, if that's the case. But you need, you need bones to do it, which sucks. So, anyway. Let's actually take a little test. And we're going to leave. Let's just warp back. Warp. I'm curious if they're there. It would be really upsetting if they were gone. Oh, they are. Man. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, the survey banners are more or less just like a thing you can have. They'll help whenever you're in big areas. Hmm. Just taking a quick look. Making sure, taking it all into consideration the things we have. I think we're doing fantastically so far. I mean, really. We haven't been missing any items. At least to my knowledge. If I have been, please, please let me know in the comments down below. Be very helpful. But I don't think we've missed anything yet <laughs> yet but if we're gonna do that castle we're gonna get that silver rapier out right now it's gonna be our go-to weapon there besides ranged magics and there's very useful spells there as well um so for now i think we're gonna be signing off if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and all that jazz my name is the incineration gentleman and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video